ok nampak tak screen ni eh? awak kena respon di ni eh? whatsapp ke dalam whatsapp ke saya tak dapat nampak awak punya tulisan ataupun awak boleh sebut jangan tulis jangan tulis saya tak, saya tak nampak awak punya tulisan tu tak nampak apa pun sir Ori saya cerita tak tak apa eh. Okey saya cuba lagi eh. Okay. Tak apa sir. Alright alright okey. Saya tadi tercabut tu. Okay, nampak? Nampak. Okay, Reads and Reads of Return. Reads and Reads of Return iaitu... Nampak, nampak eh? Chapter... Uh, Reads and Reads of Return. Ataupun... Risiko, uh, risiko dan Pulangan. Uh, risiko dan Pulangan. Gadar uh, Pulangan. Risiko dan gada pulangan eh. Sekejap saya matikan whatsapp sebab ada bunyi kan. Dan buat bunyi. Risiko dan gada pulangan. Risk and risk of return. Maksudnya. Uh, setiap. saham ataupun pelaburan bila kita nak satu yang pulangan yang tinggi kita kena menghadapi risiko yang tinggi ha, ataupun berapa banyak risiko yang kita kena tanggung apabila kita nak melabur saham pada uh, yang tinggi contoh yang terbaru sekarang ni uh, syarikat AirAsia ia adalah syarikat yang rit, uh, risiko yang tinggi eh dan return yang tinggi so kalau awak perhati kat sini ialah hmm, return dengan risk ok uh, risk and return so kalau Air Asia saya kat penerbangan tu dia adalah satu company yang berisiko tinggi eh? Berisiko tinggi Dan bila awak buat pelaburan kat syarikat berisiko tinggi Orang pelabur tu menjangkakan dapat pulangan yang tinggi Dan dia juga pelabur tu pun tahu sedar bahawa Syarikat Air Asia tu pun Mempunyai risiko yang tinggi Ya yeah? Pelaburan ni lah Pelaburan yang berisiko tinggi Biasanya uh, Hubungan antara risk and return adalah sama Bila return tinggi Risiko pun tinggi So yang berita hari ini Kalau yang sebelum tu Return adalah Untung untuk saya kat itu adalah 300 juta contohnya Setahun Tetapi untuk suku tahun pertama Tahun ni Suku tahun 4 bulan Dah rugi ya Eh Asia dah rugi Semit 900 juta disebabkan apa? Yang pandemik ni eh. Pandemik uh, COVID-19 ni. So, pelancong asing tak dapat nak uh, tak menggunakan perkhidmatan kapal terbang. Jadi, risiko dia amat tinggi. Bila, risiko amat tinggi kepada company yang company yang di, uh, berisiko tinggi. Dan pulangan pun hasil kalau awak buat pelaburan pun untung pun dijangkakan tinggi. Serupa juga macam di bidang pekerjaan eh. Contohnya for example uh, doktor, profession as a doctor. Profession as a doctor they being paid highly paid, eh? monthly highly paid. That's about uh, 100,000 can can achieve 100,000 per month if you uh, become a doctor. 100,000 or 200,000 a month. 
compared to profession with low risk for example macam orang yang cleaner eh cleaner kalau sapu sampah saja gaji dia adalah rendah cleaner gaji dia lebih kurang macam RM1000 compared to doctor is 200000 tetapi doktor ni profesi doktor mempunyai risiko yang tinggi eh risiko yang tinggi sebab tu dia punya gaji pun tinggi itulah lumrah lumrahnya alam is normal ya yeah. contohnya kalau for example doktor awak kena pegang awak kena apa uh, hidup atau mati uh, awak you have as a doctor you have to make sure your patient is still alive or becoming dead <laughs> so it's about uh, nyawa seseorang eh tapi kalau yang menyambung sampah tak ada risiko eh Sapu hari-hari gaji dapat eh Macam juga pelaburan ada yang berisiko tinggi ada yang berisiko rendah Awak tulis sikit Yang berisiko tinggi contohnya AHA yang rendah contohnya ASB ya yeah? uh, Di mana lagi tabung haji Amanah saham kan So it's a uh, Low risk and also low return so kat sini saya nak ajar awak ada tiga yang penting ha. first is first is stand stand alone risk stand alone risk maksudnya company, satu company awak buat kajian awak buat investment di satu company Risiko pelaburan di satu ha. Contohnya kalau awak kahwin Awak berikan dengan seorang sajalah Risiko dia seorang lah Tapi kalau portfolio Awak ada Awak kahwin dengan Tiga orang Kalau yang lelaki lah Tiga orang risiko dia adalah tinggi ya. Yeah? Tapi keseronokannya pun tinggi jugaklah ya. Yeah? High risk high return. Risiko dia ialah apa? Hmm, mungkin bini kedua, bini pertama, ya. Yeah? Bakau rumah umi kedua ada. Belaka Indonesia, bini pertama, bakau rumah Bini kedua sebab bini kedua dapat rumah baru Right So This is some of a risk Faced by Husband So for your As an investor If you hold More than one uh, Securities or Shares That means you hold portfolio Portfolio meaning lebih daripada sah Satu Dan satu risk and return kita gabungkan Risiko dan pulangan dalam Satu graf Apakah hubung kait antara risiko dan Return yang ni kita nak kira Risiko stand alone Kita kira, -kira risiko uh, Contohnya risiko saham satu Sahaja eh In, and then kita akan masuk investment returns. So awak salin investment return. Awak kena salin ya. Eh? You have to write the all this. Uh, even I, even though I provide you the video and also the notes, but it's different. It's totally different. If you can, you can face the, you can feel the difference if you write in your paper. Because of uh, You akan tahu mana Mana yang penting dan sebagainya Kadang-kadang eh. dalam slide ni tak ada di, Yang saya beri contoh tadi Tak ada disebut dalam ni, slide ni eh. So every example Every explanations 
like we you have you can write jot down into your notes or write in your notes okay uh, the rate of return on investment can be calculated uh, yang ni investment return maksudnya apa investment return pulangan hasil 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 pelaburan awak hasil pelaburan ialah formula dia ialah maksudnya awak melabur uh, hari ni awak buat pelaburan RM1,000 setahun lepas itu awak dapat RM2,000 ok so itu dinamakan investment return amount received minus amount invested divide by amount invested so awak kena bahagikan dengan amount invested ni Ah, yang ni, amount invested so receive minus invested divide by amount invested for example 1000 is, is invested and 1100 is return after one year maksudnya awal Awak ada RM1,000 hari ini Dan duit itu akan bertambah menjadi berapa? RM1,100 After one year Invest in one for, uh, one stocks or one shares So uh, Awak cuba jawab lah Boleh lah? This is very easy question It's direct question It's direct question Then you have to calculate What is amount re Investment return for this example ah, It's very easy I'll give you about 5 uh, minutes uh, So if you have already got the answer then please let me know that you have might be you have you can use your WhatsApp medium So go to your phone and write down one of you lah, one or two of you. Please answer your this question by using WhatsApp. So what is the answer? Zero point zero nine. Okay, dah. Oh, ni ada sikit Mungkin ada keliru sikit Invested is 1,000 And receive is 1,100 Then the answer is 10% Most of you got the Correct answer Is 10% 10% means uh, you invest 1,000 and you will get 100,000 and 
100 after one year the profit is 100 so 100 divided by compared to 1000 then it re the return is 10 per percent all right this is uh, what we call investment returns and the other hand is investment risk what is investment risk risiko kepada pelaburan so awak kena mahir kena hati-hati dengan investment risk ni dah kalau awak ada kita macam-macam boleh berlaku tak tangka ya ne who everybody tak apa kita tidak berapa tahu apa yang akan terjadi eh? kita tak tahu apa yang akan berlaku pada masa akan datang contohnya Asia di di even expect the pandemic pandemic uh, covid-19 is affected to the whole of the in worldwide pandemic ini is worldwide so satu dunia tak dapat guna kapal terbang ni So kita, kita tak tahu risiko yang akan dihadapi ya. Eh. So D ni dinamakan in risk, risk eh. What is investment ni So I will use uh, COVID-19 pandemic So you can more understand the effect of pandemic into this chapter uh, risk and return alright more easier to understand for this topic it's I will relate to pandemic COVID-19 uh, associate to risk alright then uh, there are two types of uh, investment risk we have uh, two types of investment risk dua jenis risiko so risiko ni macam-macam ya contoh apakah risiko awak dalam awak nak pergi kerja so for example malam awak decide you want you decide to to apply for part time staff part time workers as uh, so what is the risk involved if you apply for that particular job that have so might be you will raise face of uh, mungkin kemalangan accident mungkin uh, uh, gaji tak dibayar eh? you even not, you even being paid for your for your job or you might be uh, in a way Okay, bila mana awak nak pergi kerja You kena accident sebagainya This is the risk that you Expect Occurred when you apply When you Apply for the job Okay There are two types of investment risk First is Stand alone risk And second is portfolio risk okay investment risk is related to the probability of earning a low or negative actual return apa maksud investment risk investment risk is related to the awak halatkan eh uh, 
probability kemungkinan ha, awak just uh, risiko ni lebih kepada kemungkinan eh kalau aku kerja sebagai apa tu panda contohnya risiko aku mungkin berlaku accident ataupun motor rosak ya yeah? ataupun kena kena tipu dengan pelanggan eh ataupun pelanggan tak bayar ataupun kena kerja anjing contohnya eh? There are so many theories faced by food panda staff, alright. Investment is related to probability. Kemungkinan this is a probability, kemungkinan, possibility kebarangkalian of earning a low so kalau risk is always associated to refer to low or negative kalau risiko mestilah yang negatif lah risiko sebagai pekerja pun pandar ialah dapat tip yang banyak itu bukan risiko eh. itu adalah return risiko tu yang tadi lah ok <laughs> Contohnya awak hantar tersalah order eh? Dia order lima biji burger contohnya Tapi awak terbawa Tersalah dengar 50 biji burger eh? Banyak pula So awak tanggung burger selalu makan Awak selalu makan Itu this is a, a risk that you may be facing ni yang awak akan hadapi so this refer to negative which will return the greater the greater or the chance of lower than expected or negative return the riskier the investment awak jangka ya jangka Awak dapat hantar Awak jangka lah Gaji awak hantar Sebagai perempuan tu lah RM5 lah ya Eh sorry uh, Awak rugi lah Ni awak kita rugi Rugi RM10 Tapi hari ni terjadinya lebih, Rugi RM100 So bila ada Lebih daripada yang awak jangka tu ia adalah lebih risiko ha, Itu namanya Semakin tinggi Daripada awak jangka Semakin risiko Pelaburan tersebut The more The greater Than expected Negative returns Then the more uh, Risky the investment Ah, yang ini probability distribution agihan agihan kepada uh, kebarangkalian a listing of all possible all possible outcome ah, and the probability of each occurrence contoh kalau awak sebagai penjual aiskrim ya yeah. tentunya apakah possible outcome apakah occurrence ya yeah? occurrence peristiwa lah so kita buat ikut berdasarkan cuaca ya. Jual aiskrim ya. Cuaca ataupun cuaca hujan tentunya. 
kena cuaca panas so kita kena buat dua keadaan hujan panas grimis ya eh? dan macam-macam lah so kalau kalau panas tentunya jualan asli awak akan akan meningkat eh? if weather is bad then your sale of ice cream is become low right if your if the weather is uh, good or hot right then us ice cream seller the sale of your ice cream will be increased high okay then this is a possible outcome possible out occurrence might be apakah dia punya peristiwa contohnya eh, uh, jualan makanan contohnya peristiwa ni lah ekonomi Di, uh, untuk sakit air je ekonomi contohnya pandemik dengan bukan uh, pandemik or COVID-19 so in COVID-19 pandemic the sales of uh, Air Asia were tremendously low so kalau bukan di waktu macam biasa normal days or maksudnya hari biasa normal days So, dia punya hasil adalah Sale dia adalah tinggi okay. ha, Yang ni, can be shown graphically Yang ni So, kita ada yang Firm X ni, yang yang ni lah, Lebih Lebih apa ni Lebih men Oh, lukis sekejap eh? Yang X ni lebih Curam Dan Firm Y lah lebih apa Condong So yang inilah Rate of return Untuk firm X Dengan firm Y So this is a return yang bawah ni Yang atas ni adalah risi Risiko Nanti kita akan sentuh lagi risk and return Ok yang ni lebih Lebih orang kata apa uh, Yang firm Y Is more landai Yang ni lebih pada cu Curam So X ni lebih Lebih risk Risiko dia tinggi kat sini eh. So this is Risk and return so firm X is more risk rather than firm Y tapi kalau di peg kat sini kalau lebih daripada ni contohnya sini berada di uh, 90 kalau dapat 90 peratus 
awak pergi awak pilih firm Y ok tapi uh, firm Y ni dia punya ni risikonya adalah Uh, sorry, firm Y ni risiko dia adalah rendah berbandingkan firm X eh. kita melihat pada expected rate of return awak sedih sikit eh expected rate of return ialah apa yang kita jangka perabul harapkan eh. expected harapkan contohnya awak harapkan uh, awak invest RM1000 awak dapat 5% di dua company Firm X dengan firm Firm X dengan firm Y So awak Your expected return is Minimum 15% Which company is more risk Is Definitely firm X Alright Firm Y is Low risk Dan yang ini ini tambahan Ini awak dah belajar lah Income statement ni for for those yeah, Don't know or is Knowledge zero in Accounting Then the income statement is referred to Or can be known as profit and loss Whereas the finance position will be the same term is balance balance sheet so balance sheet is for financial position income statement is profit and loss ok yang ini is average return adalah return lah ni awak tahu lah return standard deviation is Measurement of risk Alright Return adalah pulangan Standard deviation adalah risiko Measures of risk Then after, then our next Our next slide We will be we, we will calculate the Standard deviation Standard deviation is measurement of or Measure of the risk Then if you Calculate the standard deviation Then this commonly known as risk, alright. That's why we always uh, kita selalu melihat kepada apa? risk and return. This is a small company stock. Small company, for example, kalau kat Malaysia ni. Uh, saya kat saya kat uh, yang kecil-kecil saja eh. contohnya kedai makan eh kedai runcit this is small companies average return is uh, this uh, statistic is carried out or collected from 1936 until 2001 So for about when we calculate how many years in of, of this uh, period of time, 2001 minus 1926, 75 years. In the 75 years, in the US, they are collecting the return and risk for companies, small company stock. Average return is 17. Average return meaning uh, purata lah. Dikira purata pulangan dia. Ialah 17.3%. Dan risikonya is 33.2. So if towards 200 then the risk is high. Alright. Also average return is towards 200% is considered high ok and for 
large company large company for example large company kadang-kadang company kecil ni untung besar eh. large company untung kecil sebab gaji besar dan sebagainya guys bonus dia punya nak bayar mesin banyak dan sebagainya so large company stock is every returns uh, 12.7% a risk is 20.2% Raja ni kalau kat Malaysia is for example Tenaga Nasional Berhad, Maybank, Petronas, alright. LT corporate bonds ah uh, rendah eh. Corporate bond ni contohnya macam ialah sekarang ni government dah tak ada duit. So government will have already or uh, plan to in introduce bonds, supply bonds. So that the people will buy the bonds. And the government will pay the dividends every year. So for gov but government is secured, very secured entities. The government or the entities mampu eh. The such company yang kukuh stable to pay. Uh, the uh, obligation required by the sub, by the investor, then the government will promise to pay uh, about six percent, only six percent. Then the risk is also uh, low because it's considered government is considered stable because they buy sumber lah, banyak. Kalau macam ni dia banyak lah. Macam-macam dia boleh buat jual, jual apa? Uh, jual harga, jual tanah eh? Jual bangunan Dan uh, Jual harga isi bumi ni eh? So the risk is uh, Is considered low And also the return is Slightly 6% For example ASB Yang kita pernah dengar dulu Pernah capai is about 14% ASB Then right now the, the ASB dividend is Is about uh five to six percent four for last year i think it's a six percent it's very what we call uh low because it's uh the government has under banyak lagi yang dikena kikirkan so yang lima puluh hanya enam percent a corporate bond government bond So corporate, corporate and government bond biasa kat Malaysia adalah dikeluarkan oleh government tak tak, tak pernah lah terlalu a few is bond is supplied by the corporate but in the in the US the bond will uh, have the the bond will be the bond has supplied by corporate as well as government alright so Uh, yang yang boleh menjual bond dapat duit yang banyak ialah yang sebab punya kukulah government atau pun kat Malaysia ni ialah Petronas right dia kena bayar and US Treasury bill ha uh, ni contohnya ASB ni 3.9 3.2 okey kalau US Treasury bill ni kalau kat Malaysia ialah ASB Okay, government is lebih kurang macam yang kata lah, bond samurai tu Jepun lah ya. Uh, so Japan introduce the uh, samurai bond, alright. So yang ni awak tengok dia punya uh, persen. Kalau government, government, eh, this is the government. So the risk and the return the risk and the return is low compared to companies compared to small companies and large companies so lebih orang kata lebih lebih terjamin it's more secure if you invest in the common stocks
or government's bonds and related to government or corporate bonds compared to a large company the risk is very high it's about 33.2 percent so the risk is 33.2 percent might be you invest 100 ringgit you hanya dapat pulang balik 70 ringgit okay kalau contoh gini kita senang lah kalau 33.2 persen awak ada 100 ringgit setahun kemudian duit awak dah tinggal 70 ringgit so ini yang kita maksudkan sebagai uh, risiko alright kalau macam ESB 3.2 persen then if you invest 100 ringgit then next after one year you will get extra 103 ringgit or 103.9 so the risk is associated with the re return risk adalah berkaitan dengan kalau saya lukiskan kat sini semakin tinggi risiko semakin tinggi return semakin ni awak tengok eh semakin tinggi risiko return dia pun ah uh, lebih kuranglah gitu ya it's commonly uh, we can uh, set up the formula or create the uh, formula as risk is high then the investor expect return is high all right why is the tb return independent of the company so yang ini saya hanya ni is a uh, ulangan apa yang saya katakan tadi independent of the economy do tb promise a complete Risk free return Apa maksud risk free return Risk free return ni maksudnya tak ada risiko Kenapa hanya 4% saja. Eh? Risiko dia So dia tak ada 0% Minimum pun is uh, Adalah 1% 2% Or 4% The TB returns the promise The TB will return the promise 8% Promise macam ASB Janjikan 8% regardless of the economy No TBs do not provide a risk free return As they are still exposed to as inflation So government dia takkan cakap oh tak ada risiko Everybody or all the companies must at least Assume that no risk free No 0% Zero percent risk no. Tak ada pun katakan tak ada risiko langsung. Mana boleh? Eh? Risiko paling teruk pun, paling bodoh pun paling the very minimum risk is inflation. Contohnya bila harga barang naik, alright? Bila harga barang naik, tentunya untung pun akan rendah, alright? Itu dia yang akan jadilah. Contohnya awak jual gula pisang. So, bila harga pisang itu naik Harga itu masih kekal Harga pisang tapi Harga bahan mentah itu naik Then Your profit Is Might be Affected Although very little Unexpected inflation is likely to occur Over such a period of time T-bill are also risky In terms of Reinvestment rate risk T-bills are risk free in the default sense of the word so these two term please ignore it's not relevant for the our uh, topics all right okay ah this is uh, some of the questions so yang ni awak salah ni jawab ni kena salah this is very important okay hats so apa yang dimaksudkan ayah ni ini ialah hat eh topi eh K Hat Atas ni Dia ada topi K tu mempunyai topi eh? K hat Or Expected rate of return 
formula k hat ialah yang ni adalah jumlah eh. Contohnya kita ada Okey. Kita ada k dengan p. Okey, serta kalikanlah. Ni kalikan ni, kalikan ni, ni awak kena buat jum. Jumlah ni eh. Okey, p ialah apa? p. P lah stand for possibility. Dan K adalah apa? A return Ataupun pula Pulangan ha, Yang ni contohnya Yang ni senang Yang contohnya ialah Kalau possibility hari hujan Ya yeah? Possibility hari panas Contoh penjual aiskrim ya yeah? Aiskrim Hari panas Hujan Panas Tentunya jualan akan mening Meningkat Awak tahu hari ni Awak tengok kat rumah awak ni Awak rasa-rasa dalam 100% lah ya. Bahawa peratus akan berlaku hujan petang ni uh, So this is the possibility Saya tanya seorang-seorang lah ya uh, Jason Can you answer me? Can you respond? Uh, hari ni kalau tengok kat rumah awak tu Awak jangka pukul 5 petang ni Dalam 100% Berapa peratus hujan? Berapa peratus panas awak rasa? Berapa peratus apa saya? Hujan kan? Hujan. Awak rasa dalam satu peratus antara hujan dan panas awak rasa berapa peratus hujan berapa peratus panas? Kemungkinan. Possibility. According to the probability 80% hujan. Ah, So the rest is 30% is uh, normal or hot weather. Alright? So this is uh, hujan is 80% and 20%. This is what we call Yes uh, So, kalau hujan Awak punya jualan uh, Sale of your ice cream Betul. will be Low Compared lower. to uh, Lower Compared to if your uh, The weather is Hot then the sale of ice cream is Higher Alright So, this is uh, the possibility Nanti saya akan beri contoh uh, Yang ini I will give the uh, right after this uh, this example. Well, I will give you the question. So, yang ni lah possibility kita ada. Uh, awak darapkan lah. Eh? Yang ini lah K satu ni P satu K dua P dua. Okay, good, very good. K3 Saya dah ingat awak dah dah tidur lah eh Saya pun dah tidur sekarang ni K4 P4 Sejuk kat sini K5 P5 Ok boleh tak awak guna Can you use This is what we call uh, This is Awak je guna kalkulator je Sebab jawapan dah diberi You have, you just agree what the answer Awak hanya Hanya apa nama Mengesahkan eh, Jawapannya Betul tak 17.5% Is it correct The answer of this uh, formula or calculation is 17.4%. You just negative. Awak buat eh. Negative 22%. Kalau negative 22%, maksudnya apa? Negative 22% ataupun awak tukarlah kepada apa? Negative 0.222. Okay, boleh tak? Kalau macam... 
negative awak still uh, use the neg uh, negative sign then you have to uh, total up total So, berapa betul awak dapat 17.4%? No. Ya. Yeah. Dapat. Siapa tu? Ya. Yeah. Saya Tio. Ha, Tio. Dapat tak? Tanya yang amount, amount ni kan, dia semua dapat gamma. Soalan akan bagi. Akan ha, bagi dia, dia akan beri. Awak akan kira sendiri. Nanti saya akan beri contoh soalan ya. I will give you... Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Hmm. So, very good your question. I will give you one, one, case, one question before we leave the session. Alright. Sir, I dapat the answer 17.0.174. So, if multiply by 100%, we get 17.4%. Well, correct. As solidly correct. Then you get 17.4%. Because you will get for, you, for, 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 for your for, for your kindness, you have you just uh, first said you have to convert it to point. Then you, then you will be converted again into the percent, right? Then I will give you one more question. One questions, very easy questions. It's not included in my slide. Then I think I will uh, new slide. But I found it from the text, right? So you can. Bunyi apa ni lah Apa yang awak tulis lah State of economy Awak salin eh Probability Of being In this state Rate of return in this state. Boom, boom. Asal ekonomi boom eh. Above normal. Boom asalnya ekonomi dengan rancak dengan power eh. Normal macam hari yang sebelum COVID. And then if below normal Below normal ni macam ni lah uh, Pandemic ni And then recession Recession ni kalau dah lama COVID ni Our world economy will become recession And if uh, we consider 0% 100% then Boom is considered 
10% or 0 0.1 0, above normal is 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 ok, the rate of return in boom economics is a 50% might be economy yang bagus eh so your uh, investment will be become uh, very very good investment will um, promise 50% investment returns so this is 30% Next is 15% much more low, negative 5% and negative recession company akan jatuh eh, 40% So, persoalannya, the, what is the question? Calculate the stock Expected rate of return. Ah, boleh buat sekarang. Ini apa tu? Macam ting ting ting. Guna formula awak kandik awak darabkan je eh Awak darabkan Macam tadi dah kan awak dapat tadi kan Awak darabkan Ni darab ni Darab 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 Multiply Each of the state of economy you have to multiply the uh, Probability and rate of return Probability and And then after that you have to Uh, campurkan Yang ni dinamakan apa uh, K hat Sama dengan apa Ni K hat ya K hat alright K hat sama dengan uh, Jumlah uh, KI Darab PI So yang Rerun pula ni yang ni PI probability is PI eh? ni PI ini ialah apa KI so yang ini return 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 So first step you will see the question. So they will give you the state of economy. For example, uh, next year the investor foresee or expect the boom. Economic the country will boom 0.1% only. Macam tadi lah yang Jason kata. Uh, 80% panas Ini kalau buah hanya uh, 0.1% <laughs> uh, Kalau normal is about 30% Normal You expect uh, next year 
the normal economy will be 30% only below normal 30% uh, contoh gini lah kalau contohnya tahun depan lagi hari ni pun awak tak hari ni saja awak tak tahu lah awak tahu tapi kalau saya tanya Jason eh, tahun depan berapa persen panas hari yang sama lah at the same day berapa persen panas berapa persen mendung uh, hujan ya yeah. Berapa persen Makin susah lah eh. Kita nak menyangkakan uh, Apa yang berlaku pada masa akan datang It's very very hard To Estimate The probability So kalau Probability tu 30% Then the rate of return is 15% Kalau the boom Dalam kenal ekonomi boom Awak punya pulangan mesti tinggi eh. Ekonomi tinggi lah eh orang ramai orang ramai nak beli barang awak boom masih ramai membeli ramai is uh, ramai lot of people to, to buy your your product you boom everybody want to buy your product then the rate of return is high then recession tak ramai tak ada orang eh. so rate of return macam berlakunya di Uh, pandemik ni uh, Dia punya recession contohnya pandemik sekarang lah uh, Asia Tak ada orang nak naik ke terbang okay? Takut eh? Everybody uh, Afraid or frightened to To use Airplane as Ya transportation So, dapat tak? Uh, oh, cuba kira Punya apa? Punya apa? Tak hmm. Jumlah dah. jawapan 10% Berapa persen? Berapa persen? 10% 10% Yang lain? Betul tak? Yang lain? 10% Yang lain tiru ke? Oh, tiru tiru ya? Tak Saya mula-mula Tak Tak You tiru tiru Saya tak. kira Saya menggunakan Saya mula... online operator <laughs> Yes Saya dapat 0.1 Okay, I will show you how to answer by using Excel. Okay. Kalau salah, saya sambung lagi so, topik lain eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... So, I'll show you how to use Excel of the equation 0.1 and uh, 50% is 0.5, right? Uh, 0.2, 0.3, 0.3, and 0.1, and rest is 0.3. 0.15 and negative uh, 0.05 and negative 0.4 okay sama sama kan so yang ni awak gali kan darab kan darab kan so ingat kan sama dengan ini saya jawab darab kan dengan ini So yang ni awak copy formula Dan yang ni awak sum up
Yeah, correct, right? So if you master in Excel, then it's easy to you to so kalau yang percentage yang ni kali hmm, seratus lah ya. Hmm, tukar ni. Ni kalau campurkan oh. awak kena faham 0.1 0.1 Ha 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 Okay your answer will be 10% Or 0.1 Yang ni yang dinamakan ni eh Yang ni dinamakan uh, This is what we call Probability P P I Ya ni lah K I Kenapa I I ni maksudnya ada pelbagai Possibility macam-macam keadaan I sini P lah Probability K lah Rate of return so darabkan lah ya So kita dah habis Yang ini kita akan uh, Soalan ni Macam ni ada Ada, ada soalan final Nanti ada satu more, One more question Daripada soalan ni Awak ingatkan saya Dan Nanti saya akan ambil lah Di the last Class uh, Ini kita belajar Next class Will be continue Of uh, End of this chapter Nanti Tan eh uh, Tan kena Beritahu lah Last class kita ni habis Dan uh, next class kita akan uh, Gear standard deviation With using this same table We will uh, We will calculate another formula For standard deviation and coefficient of deviation So this is very easy uh, Example and Memang ada lah dalam exam Memang ada satu soalan dalam uh, Contoh macam ini ya Okay Our uh, uh, Kira balik uh, Saya akan Tengok orang yang tendon ya Lim Lim dah Lim Juntek ada eh Lengah sama awak ni Lim Juntek ada eh Mariam Mariam Ada Mariam 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 Majidah ada tak? Ada soalan Tak ada Mariam Faizal Nasim ada? Uh, Nur Syairah ada? Radha Daidu? Radha Daidu?